What's good guys, it is Wednesday, July 24th, 2013, and I am bringing you guys another Jordan uh, collection video. This time I'm bringing you guys the sixes, it's been a while since I showed you guys the fives, so don't want to have you guys holding up anymore, let's get right into the shoes. Countdown pack Carmen, uh, Carmine sixes, very dope shoe, as far as I know they're coming out again next year, so definitely uh, look out for those. Uh, Olympic sixes. I do have the newer retro of them as well, but I figured, you know, everyone pretty much has those. So I figured I'd show you guys the older pair, the OG pair, right here. So there's that. Uh, these are actually also called the Olympic sixes. Uh, patent leather upper. Um, the colors of the Olympic rings on these. These are really, really dope. Um, they came out, I want to say, in 08, maybe 07. Um, either way, uh, awesome, awesome release. Here we have the uh, newer retro, not the not the pack, but the newer retro of the infrared sixes. You can see the Nike Air on the back. They're not the OG. Uh, I forget what year it was retro before the pack, maybe 2000 or 99, something like that. But um, there they are, right there. Very dope shoe. The um, white and red ones. These are the grade school colorway, so it's not the um, the uh, infrared. But um, yeah, still a very dope shoe nonetheless, and there's that. Here we have the Oreo 6s. Actually, the year that um, all these 6s came out right here, all of these, um, at the end of the year, they were still on finish line and all that in grade school sizes. So I actually have dead stock pairs of all of these 6s in my size. I really like the 6s, especially that year, all the 6s that came out. I think I got them for like 40 or 50 bucks, something like that, each. So um have a pair to wear and a, a, a pair to stock on all of these. The Oreo 6 is super clean, really, really dope shoe. Black new buck, white leather on that. Shoutouts to Dallas Pins on these. Just this whole video in general, he loves the 6s, but these Piston 6s, I slept on these hard when they came out. But his video uh, made me wise up. Actually, it was Mer Merce the Curse's video, that's who it was. Either way, shoutouts to both of you guys. Um, this is a dope shoe right here. Next we have the Lakers sixes, and I really, really, it's picking up pretty good in the video too. I really like the detail on this shoe. I mean, it's an all black shoe with white hits, but it's the stitching that makes it pop. Purple, white, and yellow stitching on the upper. Lakers sixes. These are really cool. Um, anytime where it's something you don't usually see on a shoe, uh, I'm all about it. And there's not really another Jordan like this. An all black shoe with just different color stitching, and that's what the colorway is based off of. Very cool. Uh, it looks like the camera's picking up even better than what it looks like in person. The colors look more vivid, to be honest. And so, yeah, very cool shoe. Lastly, um, yeah, just the normal um, black and red Jordan 6, but as you notice right there, it does have a jump man. Reason being on that would be um, I actually picked these up in Texas, I already had a pair. But um, the Jordan booth for the All-Star game was letting you laser on images onto your shoes. They had a booth you could do it for free. Here's the little um, wristband you got for waiting in line. Um, so that same logoing, the Jordan with the circle around it and the um, dots around it. I actually put that, as you can see right there, on each of the shoes. As well as the, um, see you can see the dots right there and all that as well as the logoing for the brand that me and my friend started, DTB, definitely the business, on the toe box. A very special shoe to me. I really, really like these, and I'm very happy I was able to get that done there at the All-Star Game. Um, so, yeah, those are my sixes. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.